So we had our first snow today, and I was going to do my first snow video, but it, it was all in the morning. <laughs> it was like snowing from like 1 to like 5, and then it warmed up and turned into more of a rain. And as you can see, there's nothing left, but I, I just bought a new car. I felt like going for a bit of a drive, and I figured I kind of need to do a channel update video with some stuff that's happened. Let's hop in the new vehicle, and let's, let's do this we've got this beautiful fall weather to go explore and look at so yeah um it has been crazy my output has not been as good as i would like it to be especially with game reviews and i'm thinking about stopping them the main reason being i record them using a, an old dvd recorder and then i, I rip it from the dvd up into my my laptop uh, I was editing a video the other day and I wanted to use music from the soundtrack to the film with Fire and Sword and I, I've uploaded the CD into my iTunes but for some reason it's not showing up you know it, like I did all three movies with Fire and Sword, Pan Vodioski and the Deluge and Pan Vodioski and the Deluge soundtracks are on there but for some reason with Fire and Sword it's showing up in iTunes but it won't show up anywhere else like in Vegas. I thought, okay, maybe I need to re-upload it or something. So I put the disc in, and the computer never read the disc. So I open up the, the disc tray, and the disc was stuck inside the laptop. I did manage to get it out. Um, it looks like the disc is scratched up, and that is like one of my absolute favorite movie soundtracks, so that's really got me kind of worried. It's not an easy one to come by. So... Now I'm worried about uploading gameplay footage into my, my laptop, so I've got X-Men Mojo World, Ghouls and Ghosts, and um, a few other games up on there that I can do. I think Ren and Stimpy and uh, Sonic Chaos. I know I've got Sonic Chaos on there. So maybe I would do those, but you know, um, a lot of people, those, those are fairly popular games for like the Master System Game Gear. Other than maybe Run and Stimpy, which I've, I've talked about in a stream. So, game reviews, at least the way I've been doing them, might not happen. I might get brave and attempt to upload something again, but I don't want to get my hopes up. That, of course, means I can't do any more of the, the family quickie videos either. Um, maybe I'll try and get some footage of some of those games. Can we get a shot of the, the river here? Yeah. So, maybe I can do that. I don't know. We'll see. It kind of depends on how brave I am. Um, so I had that going on. And since I mentioned the With Fire and Sword soundtrack, that is something I've talked about doing since I started the channel. I made a joke about it in last year's Halloween video for the, the Legend of Illusion where I held up the box set of the movies and was talking about how it's like the greatest film trilogy of all time. And not just film trilogy, I mean books and everything. Uh, it is something I want to do, and then, what was his name, Skelligrim? I don't even know if I'm saying his name correctly, it was just funny because I've been watching the guy for years. He does a lot of, like, historical martial arts videos and such. Uh, his channel is fantastic. I'm going to link the video to this, but he did a, like, analysis of one of the sword fights from the film The Deluge, which I have, for the better part of two decades, been telling people it is the greatest movie sword fight ever, and... I, I don't remember, I'd have to watch this video again, but it sounds like he pretty much agrees with me on that. <laughs> so, that was cool, um, but I wanted to do like a review of all three movies. I started re-watching them so I could do this. Wow, these, these leaves are gorgeous here. Uh, sorry, I got distracted by the foliage. So I wanted to do these, these videos. Uh, I've been re-watching the movies. It's been quite the process. I wanted to watch them twice. So, you know, once more for entertainment and then once taking notes. Um, I got through Fire and Sword and, and then I made about halfway through the Deluge and I just got busy with other things. These, these movies are massive. Um, Pan, Pan Vodiyoski is the shortest one. It's like two and a half hours. On both the Deluge and with Fire and Sword are close to four. <laughs> so that's why I say it's not like it's not like a small thing to do these they they don't really leave anything out from the novels which is great and it's just been trying to sit down and watch them 
just haven't had time. But now, then I had the, I, you know, I wanted to rip the movies onto my laptop, and I don't believe there's actually enough memory on my laptop to do that. So that's caused me to try and rethink things. And now that I don't want to stick the discs into the, the disc tray anyway, that really changes things quite a bit. Now let me apologize for the quick jump cut there. I am having to do this basically holding the camera in one hand while driving with the other and my arm just got really tired. So I'm not going to be able to do too long a takes. I don't even remember what I was saying. We've talked about the, the movies with Fire and Sword, Pan Vodioski and the Deluge. Anyway, uh, what I'm thinking about doing with those is possibly just kind of sitting in front of the camera and talking. Look at this guy's going to pass me because he thinks I'm going too slow. Um, so I would like to do maybe like that and see if I can get some production pictures or, or stuff like that to kind of throw in there because otherwise it's just me on the couch rambling and that could get boring. If I had another person to play off, maybe not, but yeah, that, that, that's probably what you're going to get. I mean, that's usually what I do for my narrations now, but you know, I usually have the gameplay footage over that. So the game videos are probably going away out of necessity. Hope to get get these movie reviews done sometime. <laughs> I mean, it's been like a year. We'll see how that goes. The other thing is having bought this vehicle, I, I, I have for the better part of the year been paying way too much for internet. I'm paying like $160 a month for like internet and cable because of how AT&T is doing things now. It's way too much, but I didn't really want to bring somebody else in the house to try and switch things out. That's a whole different situation I won't get into more difficult than you might think but with what I'm having to pay for car payments now $160 for internet is just absolutely 100% not doable I mean it was barely doable before so I'm going to be cutting my internet off I don't know when I'll be putting in like if I'm getting a new one right away or if it's gonna be a while I know a few places I can go with Wi-Fi that I can try and use to upload videos but you know, my, my plan is to just keep making them if I can and upload them at you know when I can get somewhere that has Wi-Fi uh, wow this this road I forgot I love this road um, seems like there's not a whole lot going on with the leaves here though it's everything's still green I think we're gonna go out by the old asylum that would be a good thing to film so we're gonna put the camera down for a minute and I'll be back in a bit let's get this old uh, this old cemetery though you know I love my old cemeteries I'd put that out there. So I guess I should tell you about this new vehicle. Uh, part of why I'm out driving is uh, the night I brought it home it rained and it turned out there was an issue and the passenger side flooded. I took it back to the dealership yesterday and they, they managed to get things fixed. They ran it through the car wash a couple of times to make sure you know it wasn't still leaking. And uh, Obviously it rained and snowed last night and the interior was still dry but the, the floor was still a little bit wet. So uh, they said they'd keep the car overnight for me and, and put some fans on it if I needed to, but they, they vacuumed it up really good. It was just, it was a little bit damp. I just don't want any mold possibly growing. So when I went to check it, I was about to go drop it off to the dealership, but it's fairly dry. So I figured I would go ahead and just go for a drive and crank the heat up. So I actually initially had Thor with me. He's at home now because I've um, been driving around the heat at like 80 and everything blowing and getting it to where I'm just dripping in sweat and then turning it off. So that's also part of the reason all these jump cuts are coming in is I'm not going to film while I've got the, the blowers going and everything. That could get annoying. You wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to hear me. <laughs> so it's, it's a nice relaxing drive, but I'm also, I have a purpose. I uh, figured I'd go drive around for about an hour and then I'll check the floor and if it's still kind of damp, I'll, I'll take it over to the dealership. Let them keep it overnight. Uh, no re real reason not to, it's just they had all their loaner vehicles are out and they, they said they'd give me a ride home after dropping it off. My, my concern was getting over there tomorrow to pick my vehicle back up with me, you know, working nights and everything that can make getting a ride to do that a bit of a hassle. So we are actually out. I can see the water tower out here. Yeah, I don't know if you, you'll be able to. We're near the asylum. This is a legit asylum. I know there's some places I've heard, like in Milwaukee, there's a place, like there's chickens out here. Uh, sorry, I'm in farm country and yet I still, for, like, yay, chickens. 
There's a place down in Milwaukee I was always told as a kid was an old orphanage and then I heard rumors that it was an asylum and it turns out it was a sanitarium from the tuberculosis outbreak back in like the 20s. But anyway, there's an old asylum out here in Sheboygan County. Right now they're doing tours because of Halloween. One of the guys from work, uh, second shift maintenance guy actually said he went on it. He said it was about a two hour long tour and it, it was just fantastic and he, he highly recommended it but I just don't have the time to go do that right now but it's kind of funny I'd never heard about this place until I started was moving out this way and it's to do a lot of urban exploration or I used to and I saw a video on YouTube on the end of a guy coming by here on a motorcycle and yeah it's this old asylum there's always like cows out here grazing I just find that funny We'll go ahead and turn down the side road here. Let's see if we can get a shot of this, though. Oh, no, that's the gate. I can't. I obviously can't go down that road. That is the gate. Oh, okay, so there's no cows out. Like, I'm talking about all the cows out here, and there's none today. But there are. But, yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and get a shot of this for you. Get some a little more spooky stuff going. It's still October. It's always time for spooky stuff, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, um, let's see if we can get a good shot of this. Hey, I'll get out of the car and take some uh, a video of this place for you. Just uh, give me one minute, please. I'm not going to get out of the vehicle, but there you go. Unfortunately, it is late in the afternoon. The sun is on this side of the road, so maybe I'm not getting a very good shot of this place. <laughs> but yeah, that's the old sanitarium. It is a spooky looking building. I've heard it was also used as a sanitarium as well, but I can't remember. So we're past the asylum now, we're back out driving. I guess I should talk about why I bought a vehicle. <laughs> um, I mentioned this in a live stream, but yeah, so my truck was having all kinds of problems. The brakes started failing, I took it in to get fixed. The place I took it screwed me over, they charged me like a thousand bucks, they told me we need to redo all the brakes be about a thousand dollars and I thought okay because I had a lot of brake issues when I had the PT Cruiser and I had got like the front two brakes overhauled at one point and that was like 500 bucks so I'm thinking okay because he said you know we're doing all the brakes well uh, so they did that I used a credit card maxed out the credit card and I didn't have a problem for like a week and then it started acting up again I thought oh well you know they put new calipers and new pads and, and like new hoses and everything so I'm thinking as yeah, probably just air in the brake line I take it in for them to look at it look the truck over and then the guy comes and goes yeah so that job we did on your front brakes we got to do on your backs I'm like well, what do you mean you the job you did on the front like didn't you do it on all four and he's like no I was like dude I paid like a thousand dollars I don't have that money now and so so that was an issue. Ended up having to drive around with only brakes in the front. And if that wasn't bad enough, uh, there I discovered this months ago, but there was cracks in the frame of the vehicle on the driver's side. Uh, they were all on the driver's side. There were a bunch of small cracks and then one real big like hole. Uh, so no, no body shops could do anything about that because they'd, they'd be held accountable for if, if it actually broke apart. My brother-in-law, who's a certified welder, looked it over and he said he, he was pretty sure he could fix it. <laughs> it's kind of those, if I do this and it does break apart, though, you're not going to hold me accountable. Of course not, man, your family. If I get like another year out of the truck, I'd have been happy. But he's uh, on the road trucker, so he just didn't have the time. It was one of those, you know, every time he would... Uh, be home he'd probably he'd either want to relax or he might even get a call like hey can you do a job this weekend so you know no harm to fall there he just didn't have the time so I've got this busted up frame I don't think this vehicle is gonna make it through the winter I've got like no brakes it's gonna cost me over a thousand dollars you know I already owe a thousand it's gonna cost me a thousand more to get it the next thing fixed I, I just figured I'm better off seeing if I can go get a new vehicle which I was in a situation where I couldn't I, I called my insurance, let them know what was up to see if they would total the vehicle. Uh, they told me they considered it general wear and tear. They're like, ah, rust is general wear and tear, and it's like, it's it's on the frame. 
looks like a lot of salt from last winter got up in there and probably ate it away from the inside. I, I'm not mad at my insurance. I think that's sort of a kind of a gray area. They didn't want to deal with that. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm not going to go I'm like, well, I'm, I'm switching insurance companies now. No, nothing like that. <laughs> We're back in Sheboygan Falls about where we started. And uh, so they wouldn't do that. So I went to the, the dealership where I bought the truck, let them know what was up. And they're like, okay, we'll, we'll hook you up as best we can. So they, they, and they did. They really did. I got no problems with that. But it was one of those, I was not in the market for a car. I still owed a lot of money on that truck. I had like almost no money for a down payment. All that together put me in a situation where it was like, we can pretty much sell you this one vehicle and this is pretty much it. And your payments are going to be crazy high, but there's not much else we can do. So it's kind of put in a situation of, you know, I'm, I'm screwed no matter what I do. I like the truck is in no no good shape. Uh, when I went to show one of the guys at the dealership the hole in the frame, and crawled underneath the truck and noticed that the smaller holes were now just one big crack going down the whole side of the frame. I'm not sure why the vehicle didn't pretty much just split apart on me. So it was it was definitely. Damned if I do, damned if I don't. Uh, you know, at least this way I'm screwed with the vehicle. So I'm going to give a shout out to the guys at Van Horn in Plymouth, Wisconsin. They really did take care of me. And then, of course, with the issue I had with water getting into the vehicle, and they just took it right in and, and fixed that up again. Didn't have any problems last night when it rained and, and snowed. So kudos to them. <laughs> There's a phrase you never thought you'd hear me say kudos. Who even says that anymore? Apparently, I do. So yeah, that but that has led to the whole situation with having to get rid of the internet. I, I should have been looking for a different internet provider anyway. Which leads me to uh, the gaming videos, back to that as well. As long as I have internet, I'm going to try and keep streaming some. Uh, I've been trying in the mornings after work, but the past couple of days I've just gone right to bed. I have Fridays, I'm going to try and do streams every Friday so long as I still have internet connected because uh, making the, the big car payments. I can't really afford to do anything else anyway. <laughs> that's that's alright though. So I'm going to stream as long as I have internet and I'm going to try and put out other videos continue doing the vlogs and everything. It's just there's probably not going to be any more game reviews sadly. Um, making those has just become a hassle as well with uh, everything I've had to go through. Filming in, in the home and my back room has become a bit of a thing which is why I've been going on location for for all the last couple videos and it's great it's given me kind of my own style and it's made things a tad bit more dy dynamic uh, that first one I did for a uh, dynamite ducks though and I went to the um, the state park like I normally do watching it it just it, it looked like I was standing in front of a, a green screen I was hoping maybe some deer would walk by me in the background or something and it didn't happen and it just it looked like a big green screen I was like I'm not happy with this I need to do something else so I did master of darkness and I was at the cemetery I'm like I've got to walk around the cemetery I tried to get somebody to actually go and be sort of a camera operator for me but that did not work out at all um, I need to talk about that Master of Darkness video though, because let me tell you, that was a pain in the butt to get done. So the Master of Darkness video, y'all know I tried to get that out months ago, because uh, I was actually going to do Ghouls and Ghosts for my Halloween video, which I'm kind of glad I didn't. Uh, uh, Hungry Gojira, Go Gojira, however you say that name. I, like, I think that's a Zelda reference. I'm not a big Zelda fan. Uh, her channel's great. She's a big Master System fan. It's kind of funny, though, because a lot of the, the games... Like if, if I did a review of it and she did a review of it, they, they almost play out the same because we seem to have like very similar tastes and ideas. <laughs> so I, I love watching her videos. And it, 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 it's, it, it's, it's, it's weird. Like if you watch my uh, my review for, uh, oh, what was it, Psychic World, and you watch hers, they're very similar. We say a lot of the same things. There was actually, since that's one of the few videos, I didn't just wing it. I, I did a script for it. And I had the line in my original script, I said something like, like, this game's just an absolute joy to play or something, and I, I ultimately cut that out. And then she had said that in her video, which was great. She, 
it, she had no way of knowing that was in, in the script I'd written or anything, obviously. And like when I heard that, it just made me laugh because like, man, we we are so similar in, in how we view things. So I, I, I love her channel. It's just phenomenal. But yeah, she did Ghouls and Ghosts for the Master System. Uh, I think that went up a couple days ago, which I, I want to rewatch it. Like, it was that good. I, I highly recommend it. Man, man, I'm going to have a lot of links in this video. I got to link that Skullogram video, and I got to link that one. <laughs> but anyway, the Master of Darkness is one I'd put up a poll months ago on Facebook. Not, uh, yeah, Facebook and, and on Twitter. Like, hey, what, what game do you want to see me do next? Because I had a couple I was thinking about doing. And, um,. Uh, that was the one that won. So I was like, okay, I'm going to do that. And I got the footage for that. And then I, I put the X-Men one and um, Dynamite Ducks together as well. Just because I knew those were two games that I could get through in like under a half hour just to put them on the DVD and rip them to the computer. Road closed, 500 feet. Well, that, that changes things drastically here. Um, I'm probably going to have to turn around. <laughs> All right, well, didn't have to turn around. Uh, there, there was a side street here, so I guess I didn't really need to turn the com or the camera off. But anyway, so everybody wanted me to do Master of Darkness. It's one I've actually had a few requests for, like that and Bubble Bobble, uh, because that game's gotten really expensive in the past few years, and it's finally, finally getting some recognition. Surprisingly enough, so and I'm, I'm surprised. I, I bought it like six years ago and paid like thirty bucks for it now you don't see it on eBay too often and when you do it's like 90 or more um, it's a fun game but let me tell you it ain't, it ain't worth that don't don't emulate that one don't don't spend your money on that um, but anyway yeah so I was trying to get that video done and because then I was at this point where I need to really go out and film more on location my initial thought was to go and do it by a campfire and I registered my campsite and I went out there and I, I believe I told the story in a stream before but oh those those leaves are looking really nice so I go out there I uh, bought like two cords of firewood got everything set up and then I was I was really hungry I brought stuff to make food but I, it ended up I meant to go like Friday night I reserved the campsite for the whole weekend I wasn't able to get out there Friday because I came home to work and I crashed it was a pretty long night at work so I fell asleep, slept the whole day, and I was like, well, I'll just go tomorrow. So I go on Saturday, but it was sort of the same thing. My sleep schedule was kind of off. I slept in, I tried to you know, go to bed at night, ended up sleeping too late. So it was later on in the day, I went out there and I said, I'm not gonna make any food on the campfire. I'm just gonna go into the near, nearby town, get something to eat, and come back. So I decided I had to unload my stuff. So I do that. I drive off, I'm gone, maybe an hour, get something to eat, come back, and all my firewood's gone. And I'd spent like what little bit of uh, cash I had on all the firewood. And the people at the campsite next were like, yeah man, like you dropped that off. And some people rolled up not even five minutes later and took it all. And they told me what, what type of vehicle they were driving. And so I kind of drove around to see if I could find it. And yeah, they said they're like in a light blue minivan. Well, there was only one light blue minivan in the camp area found them and I was kind of driving by real slow and they kind of gave me this weird look they, they just these people look guilty you know I didn't say anything because what proof do you got so I go out to the ranger station I was like hey this happened I'm like I, I don't want because they're like you know do you want like new firewood I was like no I'm, I'm like I'm pissed off I'm going home like this should not have happened like why why would you do it why would you go steal somebody else's firewood so I ultimately just ended up going home, but the plan was to film around a campfire. So then I had this idea where I would go and film um, that area on the on the dunes at Kohler Andre, where I ended up doing my the first part of the the folk tales that I just posted the other day. So I was like, if I, I set the camera up right, I can have the the sun rising above me over the lake while I'm telling the talking about the game. That'd be cool. But it either, it either rained every Saturday when I was able to do it, or I overslept. So then, it, you know, months went by, and then I was like, well, I can do this for Halloween, and I'll go down to the big cemetery in Milwaukee that I really like. And that'll be cool. So, yeah, trying to get that video done was just a humongous shit show. Pardon the language, but that's 
absolutely what it was. It just, I'm proud of the way it turned out, but getting it done was not fun. <laughs> uh, Johnsonville, this is the Johnsonville Bratwurst factory, oddly enough. Yes, sir. Uh, you all know I like to go to Meese Fields or some of the other local butchers, but if you can't get something like that, Johnsonville is a go-to. I, I was talking about applying for a job here at one point, and I was joking with my, my friend. He was like, you know, I'll go in there. They're like, why do you want to work for Johnsonville? And i got to be completely honest, you know, and I'll be like, well, I'd love to be a part of the second best Bratwurst company, and they're going to go second best. And I'm like, sorry, but Meese Fields has got you guys outdone. But, there's just nothing wrong with being beaten by the best, you know? <laughs> so, whew. Okay, my arm's getting tired, and I need to turn the heat back on, so we're going to put the camera down for a minute, and I'll be back. Man, this is becoming a longer video than I thought. I wonder if anybody's even going to stick with it and, and, like, watch the entire thing. Well, credit where credit is due, the heater in this vehicle works great. I am sweating my butt off in here right now, but I'm doing what I got to do. I'm actually not too far from the dealership. I am going to check the, the floor here in a bit to see if it's finally dried out completely. It was just barely damp when I got in the, the car. Uh, I do want to go over there, though, and let them know, like, yeah, it wasn't leaking any or anything like that. So, yes, um, yeah, the Master Darkness video was just in the butt to get done but I think the end result was good uh, I think the like five or six people who watched it would probably agree with me <laughs> who knows um, that that's the other thing though um, I, I am getting a little bit frustrated with some of the time I put in like that video took me months to do playing through the game because it's my thing with game rate is trying to actually get through the games Kind of funny that when I talked about Cool Spot being the one that I was like, well, I'm just not going to be able to beat this one, and then, then I got lucky and beat it that night. But uh, I put all the time into playing through Master of Darkness, which it's not a, it's not a difficult game by any means. But I, I put the game, the, you know, the time in. Everything went through just trying to film me talking about the video or, or the game. I mean. Uh, ultimately, driving down to Milwaukee, driving about an hour to go to that cemetery, um, which I, I considered trying to do one at, at a local cemetery, but none of them are that cool. Like we got some nice ones in my area, but not like Calvary. So I had to go down there. Then I had to scout the area. Like I've been there many times before, scouting the area to make sure I wanted to film things, filming it, moving the camera, setting up the next shot, filming it. I mean. I got down there at 6 in the morning, it was supposed to rain that day, and it was one of those I have to do it now, it's a now or never sort of a thing. So I got up at 5 in the morning, went down there, I was down there by 6, from 6 to about 8 I was scouting the, uh, to find out where I wanted to film, and then from about 8 till 11 was actually filming the, the video, moving the camera around and, and setting up my shots. And I had a couple shots that I couldn't even use because the wind got so bad, it was just too loud, you couldn't hear me. I had to actually redo my narration sitting on my couch and, and put the gameplay over that. It's going through all that and then having like 10 people watch the video, maybe. That's a little disheartening. I've been on YouTube for like a year now and I, it's like, my views aren't too great and for everything else it doesn't really bother me, but for what I put into something like that it's a little bit frustrating. And then this whole ordeal with my laptop wanting to eat discs now. It's just kind of, a, okay, I'm going to have to just not do game reviews really anymore. I mean, I could, but it'll just be like like Happy Console Gamer style. It's just kind of like me sitting in front of the camera talking about the game. I, I might do some of those, but uh, game rate itself is pretty much going to have to be on an indefinite hiatus. Just with everything going around it, the possible loss of my internet oh, there's no possible I'm gonna have to get rid of the internet at least for a short time and the way things are going with my laptop the laptop is old my mother bought that for me and she passed away in, in 2013 so obviously I'm not in a position to buy a new laptop so so yeah I'm, I'm like you know, I'm, I'm gonna put out there I'm a little frustrated about you know putting that kind of time and effort into something that nobody's really watching but at the same time I do enjoy doing it and that that outweighs that, but on top of you, you stack it with all these other things, it is time to 
cut back on those. I, I hope to do some more. Like I said, I've got a few games loaded up um, my footage on my laptop that I might be able to do down the road, but it's gonna be it's gonna be sparse. Um, it's not gonna fully be really a gaming channel anymore, but it kind of straight from that anyway. That's actually kind of like the least of my content anymore anyway. So I wanted to make this video to put that out there. Uh, thank you for joining me. I hope you did enjoy this. Um, this is going to be crazy to edit all these little clips together of me driving around like this. Ooh, we've got some nice colors here, but it might be too dark for you to see. So anyway, thank you for hanging out with me going on this little drive. Um, it's been fun. I can't believe I've managed to make it go on for as long as I have. Uh, it's just me rambling about nonsense. And you're probably going to get more of that in the future. <laughs> Um, but yeah, um, in the event that I end up not really doing any more game reviews, I just want to thank everybody who's really stuck with them. It's, it's been fun. I'm definitely not going to quit video making at all because it is really what keeps me going, no matter what I'm doing. So, and I know Thor enjoys being in them as well, especially when we do our outdoors videos. Since we did get snow, maybe we're maybe we can finally get up to that state forest, and maybe we can do a camping video for everyone. I was waiting for this. I'd rather go in the weather's cooler, but also after that first snowfall, it should kill off most of the ticks. That's really the big concern up there. So, all right, I've rambled on long enough. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining me on the drive. Um, Thor loves the attention as well. We will see you later.